civil rights attorney with the law offices of Wiley Steckler, Wiley Law. Uh, we have been aware of what's been going on here, and we believe that the action that is going on currently in Zuccotti Park uh, represents the core of freedom of expressive association as guaranteed by the First Amendment to the U.S. Constitution. Uh, right now, we are seeking consensus to be retained by the occupation as a collective to file an order to show cause in the Southern District Court for the state of New York uh, on behalf of the occupation, uh, seeking a temporary restraining order, which is a legal term I'll be happy to explain, uh, and a declarative uh, recognition of the uh, occupation's First Amendment right to assemble, and also of the guarantee in the U.S. Uh, in, pardon me, in the New York City Administrative Code. Uh, which states that no permit is required to erect tents below a certain size. Um, we believe that the tent issue is critical to the continuing of the occupation, uh, and we believe that the NYPD has been applying the law incorrectly in a deliberate attempt to disrupt the occupation. There are still several hundred on the streets of New York's financial district. They are still ignored by those who presumably support them, by those who oppose them, by those who should seemingly just be reporting on them. Why? It's day 10 of the Occupy Wall Street campaign. On Saturday, more than 80 protesters were arrested as hundreds took part in yet another march to Wall Street. New York Police Department used nets and physical force to break up the crowds. Videos uploaded to YouTube show officers pepper spraying protesters in the face from close range, punching demonstrators and dragging people through the street. Since Saturday, September 17th, thousands inspired by popular uprisings from Spain to the Arab Spring gathered near Wall Street to decry corporate greed. On Sunday, protesters issued a communique calling for the resignation of the New York Police Commissioner Raymond Kelly and a dialogue with Mayor Michael Bloomberg. I'm going to ask a couple questions since you guys are here. Um, is there anything particular what you're doing um, as a chemical biological Federally funded group hanging out. Uh, protest? I'm not saying. That's it? I'm not saying. So you are funded by the federal government, right? This fucking visit? Are you guys oh, visiting New York? Well, if you walk down the, uh, the Memorial Center, so we're up for 9 11. 9 11, yeah. It's a little bit disconcerting to a mass of hundreds of people to see chemical, bi chemical biological incident response force hanging out. Yeah, but I don't think people are that paranoid. Around 100 uh, were taken in in uh, police vans, in city buses, and um, and then those who remained came down. There were reports of, uh, of uh, pepper spray being used, people being dragged around on the ground by their hair. Um, uh, the, the witness reports are still coming in. My name is Yell. This one police officer had whipped out his mace and sprayed it about a foot away from me and around my area where there were other people. The mace at that point was so close to me that it was dripping down my face, down my chest. I was about maybe 45 to an hour. I was blind for about 45 minutes to an hour. I'm not going anywhere. I'm not going anywhere. I was involved in the protest. I was actually arrested. 
The guy told me to stop filming. I told him I wasn't, and I heard him say, get her. And next thing you know, they all came up behind me. They grabbed me by my wrist. They took their feet and swept it under my feet to try to take my feet from under me. They put the cuffs on really tight. We sat inside one of these police vans, 16 of us, for two and a half hours with the doors closed. We couldn't breathe in there, and there was a man in there who needed medical attention. He had a big, huge laceration on his eyebrow. There were a couple other brothers who had uh, scrapes on their leg, big cuts into their leg, and everybody was just laughing at us. The cops kept circling around. We asked for water, no water. We had our phone. We were sending pictures. We were making phone calls. We even called 911, and 911 said, you're with the cops. They're there to protect you, and she hung up the phone on me. There's a lot of, there's a lot of causes out here, but I think the main thing that we're looking for is that we're human beings, and human beings should come before money. Human beings should come before profit. Well, you wouldn't need that many tea partiers there. Uh, it, it would be a top story. Um, and, uh, and the same thing a couple of weeks ago when a thousand environmentalists were arrested at the White House. This is really the very first down on Wall Street in the financial district, the very first attempt since the crash of 08 to, to uh, take a real stand. And um, it's been powerful. And this is going to grow not only on Wall Street, but in communities all over America.